we could do with another garden hose. <gasps> Have you guys seen Vixella's garden hose? She has a pink garden hose. It's so cute. I'm like, that's so her. <laughs> I, I've never seen a pink garden hose. I've seen like nice garden hose holders. Do we even have a tea thing? Oh, we do. Um, oh, the notebook. That movie's really sad. Do you know about the no random townies cheat? No, I didn't. I did not know about that. Is it? So you only have Sims that are in the world um, catalog, like no random ones. I, I like the random townies. I know they look a little strange, but you know, you can't always judge people on appearance, okay? Like, Sometimes I like seeing the eyeball ring, you know? You can make the sims you want to replace the townies. Ah, that's pretty cool. Okay, I'm into it now. Oh my god, La really did move in with a lot of stuff. She rocked up to their house with like five moving trucks. And everyone was like, whoa. Oh, actually we want that. We can we can use a lot of this stuff upstairs, you know? It's always good to reuse, recycle, folks. No need to buy new. No, no. Okay, let's maybe put a bookshelf here. We're just gonna use a lot of last things, okay? Where should the TV go, I guess? I guess over here. Actually, we could put a fireplace here. Maybe that's better than this hallway table. We can put the hallway table over there. Do you though? Come on. Come on now. Okay. So this is totally something I saw on H3 podcast, but did you... <laughs> Have you guys seen, because I don't really use TikTok. I keep trying to get into TikTok and I can't. And I'm like, I really need to because as a creator, I should use TikTok, but I just can't get into it. Anyway, so there's this guy on TikTok. Uh, I don't want to take that call right now. Um, I'll leave a message if it's important. Skulls, thank you so much for the 76 months. Holy moly. Thank you very much for your support. I really appreciate it. Yeah, I've never seen that painting before. Well, that swatch at least. So there's this guy on TikTok. He's a, an attorney or a lawyer. Um, and he represents uh, people who, or, or criminal law, I think. So, you know, there's people with DUIs, um, domestic violence cases that he will represent in court. So he like goes on TikTok and he promotes what he does on TikTok. It's so bizarre because he's like, oh, here I am with Gary, he was um, charged for driving with under the influence. He hit many parked cars, but guess what? We got him out of jail. No jail time. And then at the end, he always goes, let's go. <laughs> it is the most weirdest thing. But it's so funny. We live in some strange times. I know, and he's just like... He like, um, tried to run away and fight the police. 
But guess what? We just went to court. He's got six months of probation. No jail time. Let's go. <laughs> I don't know, you guys. I feel like that's going to be an issue. For I'm sure he'll get like heaps of people wanting to him to represent them because he sounds like he's really good at what he does. But I'm like, what is the judge going to think, you know? Yeah. Let's go. I swear if I start getting those <laughs> on your timeline. Uh, anyway, I thought that was very funny. I mean, it's like funny, but it's also quite concerning. But hey, what are you gonna do? Laugh or cry, you know? We have so much money since Law moved in. I guess some um, Sullivan's quite into Japanese culture because we're putting a lot of. I mean, Law was obviously very into Japanese culture or has Japanese background, but you know that this is um this is a lot we need to move objects on sheet let's go so now james and i are always like let's go <laughs> uh, maybe i should get into tiktok see that kind of thing i can get behind the really morally corrupt stuff. Do you think I'll, do you think he should have a double bed? No, I don't want him to have a double bed. Because I don't want any funny business going on, you know? Not under the roof of my house. Oh, actually, we need that in the play area. Good night, Lisa's life. Sleep well. And remember. Let's go. Hmm, Fantas. Get Sullivan. Good Lord, La, how much did you bring in? Reminds me of the time when my friends dated a guy. I, I think I've told you guys this. He dated a guy. And on the, the first time he came over to her house, he packed a suitcase. He arrived ready to stay for like a week. She never saw him again after that. She was like, what the heck is this guy doing? Like, why did you pack a suitcase for a sleepover? I don't even know if they were planning a sleepover, to be honest. I actually think maybe he was just coming over and he came with a suitcase expecting to stay over. Red flag, red flag, yeah. You know, he was a sweet guy. He meant well, but... You know, you can't... A little piece of advice if you're new to the dating scene. If someone invites you over, don't rock up with a suitcase. To be a little more subtle. And Miller, you knew them. Did you? Did I ever tell you that story, story Miller? Because I'm pretty sure you knew that person as well. Who did that? <laughs> Yeah. I mean, I won't say his name on stream because obviously I feel like that's just a really horrible thing to do, but yeah. Tea time. Let's put some shoes there. Oh, we've almost got through all of it, which is great. Can't sell the cookie. Ooh, orchids. Sell those. Okay, we run into this problem all the time when we actually end up having too much money. Let's just sell all of this. 
Okay, what is this? Can we sell the Glimmer Stone? I'm sorry for anyone who liked the Glimmer Stone, but it has been with peace and love tossed. And it will never return. Now, I want to display the school project somewhere. Um, I'm really proud of us for just reusing what we already had. I mean, it's nice that we have enough money to actually work on this upstairs part because it's been a little rough for a few years. What well, kind of, oh, that's nice. Actually, I think we can fully match the bricks if we have this fireplace. That's nice. The bunting looks a little scuffed, but you know, that's nice. That over there, that lady over here in the corner here. Hopefully nothing catches on fire. Okay. Okay. I actually think this would be better outside. Um, hey, Seven Sold, how are you doing? All right, what? Do you guys know which object is best to place the school projects on? Because I always find it difficult to know what to use to display. House Reno for next gen with all that cash. Let's go. I might need to do a wee soon. You put them on the desks, little dicker? Hmm, interesting choice. I was thinking maybe miscellaneous surfaces. That's what I was thinking more of, like these types of things. The dresser. Happy 22 months, Keithy. Thank you very much for your support. All good, all good. We've gotta we've gotta build up our streams again, because I haven't streamed for a while. So I think a lot of people wouldn't have known I was live. They can proudly show him off. Yes. Why is there a... Oh. Oh! I didn't realize this was a, um... I thought this was a, only a bar, but no, this is a hardwood counter that came with Get to Work. Did you guys know about this? I swear I've never seen that before. It's amazing. Like a pack like Get to Work that came out. Whoa, that was one of the first packs that came out. I've never seen that. What the heck? All right, we'll display it on this. There we go. That's beautiful. It's really nice. Sometimes fireplaces. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, let's move on to the bedroom because that's really what we need to focus on. All right, Sully, what can we do here? He might have grown out of the void critters, I think. Um, the desk is, do you think this desk is still okay for Sully? I think the rest is probably a little more child friendly. Yeah, very cool skateboard. Is this desk too like childish or is it fine for a teenager? This bookshelf is too big. I mean, I think it's okay. <laughs> yeah, the stream was really fun. Um, Keithy, we, we had a really good time. I'm glad you caught it on Lil Simsy's stream. It was good. I haven't done like a collaborative. Oh, we already have a desk. Good lord, Deli. Get with the times, girl. Get with the times. Alright, well, I can go back downstairs. Mm -hmm. I might like to take the desk chair, though. I haven't ever seen that item either, right? This chair looks uncomfy, so we're gonna get this one. I, you know, I have to say that that item was hidden. Do we think that was a hidden item? 
Surely, I I don't believe that I couldn't have seen that or noticed that. That's just, I don't believe it. I don't want to believe that. It makes me feel uncomfortable. <gasps> this is a little dicker item. I love this so much. I love it so much. Maybe he's grown out of the void critters. Maybe he's into mountain climbing now. I honestly think so. Yeah, I think it was hidden. Jelly Bean, thank you so much for the three months. Nice to be able to renovate and not worry about money. How good would that be in real life? Oh my lord. Would you even need, like, if you were super rich, so much so, you didn't have to worry about money. Would you even have to worry about, like, obviously you'll still get quotes for things, but if someone ripped you off, you could just be like, oh, I can't be bothered asking anyone else, okay. Or would that just be bad? Do you think that's a bad way of living? Just to be like, oh, whatever. Or is that a good thing that you just don't have to care? The iconic dresses. I love those dresses so much. Yeah, they're definitely a fave of mine. I want that in real life. Me too. It would, I would still be mad. So even if you didn't have to worry, you would make sure that you got like, reasonable quotes. You wouldn't be like, oh, well, I can't be bothered. It's just, it's so much work getting quotes. Um, bad. It would give other people the thought that they could constantly mess you over. Mm. But they would know, well, actually they might not. I was gonna say they would know you alerted anyway. But they might not, cause you might not show it. Which would be very classy. In my opinion, I reckon that would be cool. How many boys would... Oh, actually, probably lots of boys. Like, teenage... Well, not even boys, but I was just thinking, I wonder how many teenagers would actually look after plants in their rooms. But probably heaps, because plants are a big thing now. They, It's not like in the days when I grew up, no one cared about plants back then in my day. Those window CC. Yeah, these are beautiful. These are... This is another Charlie Pancakes Maple and S constructions. And what I really love about these CC windows is there's options to have them both opened and closed. So it kind of makes the house look a little bit more lived in, which therefore makes it look more realistic. I don't want people taking advantage or judging me, sir. I would be the one that no one knows I'm loaded. Mm. Honestly, if I was like a multi-millionaire, um, I would still be on that mission that I'm always trying to do. Oh, that, that mission that I'm always trying to achieve of living minimally with just nice quality durable things like i just if i had heaps of money i wouldn't want to just buy like i wouldn't want like a crazy wardrobe or other thing i would just want to like have smaller amount of things that are nice quality and classic and that's like i feel that would be ultimate goals but it i find it really hard to achieve i think it's really hard to do that 
I don't know why it's so hard. Like it should be easy because it's like all you need to do is not buy new things and, you know, enjoy the things you do have that are good quality. But I don't know. I feel like it's so hard because weight fluctuates with clothes and then you have to get more stuff and then you have to get more stuff and then i don't know fashion changes so you have to figure out what's classic if you are interested in trends which i guess i am a bit ah <sighs> it's hard but quality and simplicity i think it would be the ultimate way to live but then other people would be like i want a dream wardrobe with 50 pairs of shoes and jewelry and lingerie and all of that which hey if that's the way if that's the dream that's your dream maybe we should put a vacuum in his room because he had the cleaning aspiration i mean what do you guys think is the ultimate goal Other than obviously helping others, because I feel like everyone, well, I feel like most people in the chat, well, I hope most people in the chat would want to be helping others <laughs> with, their, with um, what they can. I'm such a hoarder. When I moved to Australia, I had to get rid of 70% of my things. Well, that's a great effort then if you got rid of so much. Um... I'm the opposite to a hoarder. I love tossing. Tossed is my favorite thing. My ultimate goal is to live with less waste. I don't think I could ever do zero, but significantly reduce. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm bit by bit trying to do that as well. It's challenging. It's not what we're used to. Retiring and traveling the world. Oh. Would you guys retire at... Like, would you have retired at 25? Or would you, if you're not 25 yet, would you retire at 25? Or if you passed 25, would you have retired at 25 if you had made it financially? I don't think I would, because I would, it would drive me nuts. Although we could live out that dream that we always talk about on stream of living on the farm. Actually, maybe I would retire and then work on a farm and learn about a farm. That'd be cool. Yeah, I think we've made significant um, develop developments upstairs. So I'm going to leave that like this and go back to some gameplay. So this is gonna be Sage's, I mean, Sullivan's new room. Let's save this. Um, try some light makeup, I'm hideous, it's fine, don't overreact. I think don't overreact is probably good, unless they're interested in makeup. I mean, no, personally, because I'd be so bored. Oh yeah, that would be awesome. I would build a passive house and have a garden and a few horses and farm animals. Yeah, same, like a really, Oh, you know what? I would go full, if I was a multi-millionaire, I would go full doomsday building. Like I would get um, like a basement built. I'd have anti-allergy ventilation. So if there were fires nearby, the smoke would be filtered out. And, 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 <laughs> and, 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 and then I'd get like, Fully sustainable living sorted out, solar panels, backup generator, in case, like, I don't know, the sun blew up and oh, all the earth wouldn't exist. But let's just say, you know, you had to use the backup generators. We'd have the best internet. I'd have, like, star internet, other internets, whatever. Like, five different internets. What else can we do? What else? Oh, I would have, like, food back up panic room yeah fallout shelter with bunk beds and stuff that'd be sick <laughs> so then i could always keep my family safe self-cleaning windows that'd be nice <laughs> that's handy brooklyn that's what i would do is that a little much um 
Last recess, no one wanted to play with me. I just climbed around on my urn. If that happens again, what should I do? Because you're sad. Who's been in this situation? Raise your hand. <laughs> I think everyone has. Um, ask the other kids if you can join or talk to the teacher. I think ask, and if they say no, then ask a teacher. All the internets. I actually think I probably have mild addiction to my phone and internet. Oh, she's making friends with the trash because she had no friends to play with. It's very sad. Okay, how are we going here? I really want you to age up already, but it's like six days until you do. <sighs> Let's just fast forward a few days. Thank you for the hydrate, Chelsea. Mm -hmm. Good evening, True Grit. How are you doing? Oh, look at these siblings. Let's ask your big brother. Discuss interests. Talk about favorite animal. What's your favorite animal? My plate's eaten clean. Monkey around. I don't know if you guys heard that loud bang. I'm flashing back to your vlog when you had your phone pressed up against the window. <laughs> yeah, because we... We had no internet. I could only get internet from the window and it was the worst. We couldn't go one night without internet. That's concerning. Aw, thanks, Jocelyn. Well, that I should be uploading a vlog tonight, actually. That's that's what I want to do, but we'll see if that happens. So keep an eye out. Oh, Sully. Oh, Sully. Why don't you go vacuuming for a few hours? You know, three, three hours of vacuuming. Wow. I actually really need to clean the house, too. What is it? You need to empty the vacuum? Well, this can be your favorite. The vacuum around. When is Coffee Boy coming around? I'm parched. I know. I thought Coffee Boy would come, but maybe he's not coming today. I think Coffee Boy is not actually drinking as much coffee at the moment. Um, coffee Boy was feeling a little sick from coffee. So he's no Coffee Boy isn't drinking as much coffee. Um, so I think that means that Coffee Boy, if he, Coffee Boy isn't drinking coffee, then Coffee Boy doesn't get me coffee because Coffee Boy isn't getting Coffee Boy coffee. Coffee Boy is James, yeah. <laughs> James? Yeah, I don't know. It's sad. He has a message. He always says I should ask for things when I would, when I would like something instead of dropping clues. But I rather just drop hints, you know? I don't like asking for things. So I become that annoying person who just drops hints all the time. Like, oh, I'm really tired. I wish I could get a coffee, but I'm streaming right now, so I can't. So annoying. <laughs> I actually really dislike people like that, and then but that's what I do. <laughs> oh wow, he's already vacuumed for three hours. Alright, let's go wash some dishes. I'm just gonna oh look at that. Oh oh dear. Let's try and repair this. Alright, and oh the butler's already doing it. Empty trash. Maybe we should ask the butler to please not work. Can we give the butler a vacation day, actually? Um, butler. 
assign responsibilities. Oh, here we go. Stop cleaning. There we go. You can do everything else, but please stop cleaning. Oh, look! Such a cute outfit. How how cute is that? I love. Oh no! She's oh no! She's sick. Um, chat with Sullivan. Why don't you make yourself? Uh, a healthy green tea. There you go. Ah, tea. Love tea. So if you guys don't know, if your sim is sick and you have the teapot, um, they can make a healthy green tea and it usually makes them feel better. There we go. She'll have that. Can kids have tea? Why don't you have a have a cup of tie. A last other oh, kid can't have tea. It's a bit hot. Askers believe you should just ask for what you want and guesses think it's pushy so we'll send out feelers to try and guess the answers to their questions. Yeah I'm I'm a guesser like I think it's pushy to ask. That's so funny. Aw, Mrs. Valor, I hope you feel better soon. Oh, those days are tough. Thank you. Hey, you gonna feel better soon? Yeah. Let's see, Casper's off to work. <laughs> oh, she's all upset. Yay, there we go, feeling better again. Look at that, combating a cold, healthy aura from drinking tea. I think there's a delivery. It's better to be surprised with a drink than ask for one. Oh, James is pooping. Hold on, you guys. Um, couples that poop together. <laughs> yeah, the timing. There was a guy, like, walking onto the property and then walking around the side of our house. So Bowser was like, what the heck? Um, I don't know what was going on. I wonder if it was someone trying to check the gas meter. James is like, I'm sorry, I was booping. <laughs> I don't know what he was barking at. I mean, there was a guy, like, on our property, so I don't know. It wasn't a delivery guy. Good boy, Bowser. You tell him to go away. It must have disappeared. 
I mean, I saw him as he was walking away, so... And I know he went to the side of the house, because Bowser was looking on the side. He doesn't usually do that, so... He's a good boy. He is. He's a very good guard dog. No one will trespass without us knowing, that's for sure. I told him he was a good boy. Okay, bedtime for you. Free time. Casper finished task earlier than he expected. Oh! I've never had this pop up before. Hmms. What should he do? That's really nice. Um. Can you research a little bit of art? No, why don't you listen to a little bit of jazz? There you go. He starts to sing to music and without thinking about it, starts singing aloud. His co-workers join in and they all have a great bonding experience. Can you imagine at work, just like a colleague in the office starts singing? And then everyone's like, yeah, let's start singing together. And everyone sings. It's like from a movie. What is this, High School Musical? Workplace musical? That'd be a great idea for a film. Workplace musical. Allah. Burn money? She's like, we're so rich now. I'm gonna burn a thousand dollars. Whoa! <laughs> oh my god, she sounds so evil. Uh, sounds like a meter reader. Yeah, I think so. Or else it's just someone like looking around our house, but I doubt they would do that in broad di daylight. Oh, honey, she needs to be put to bed. My mom used to always say, teeth, toilet, bed. Has to be put by bed, to bed, maybe by La. Hi from New Zealand. Hey, Gracie. I read today that New Zealand has been ranked the second safest place to live in the world. Um, number one's Iceland. I kind of want to move to New Zealand and live there. TBH. But then I'd miss my family too much. My nan used to say teeth and PJs. Yeah, my mum would always say teeth toilet bed what was the thing that your parents or your carers would give you um when you needed to when you couldn't sleep like my grandma and my mom and dad would always say well why don't you have some vegemite toast um and a glass of water but i know some people were given milk Oh my god, Gloom Panda, I hope you're okay. My sister used to live in New Zealand and she moved to Australia. Why? <laughs> New Zealand sounds so much better. It's winter, you guys. Winter has come. Milk? Interesting, so you guys would be given milk. Oh, this is so cute. La's like telling the butler how to do things. Like, yeah, I was a butler here for 20 years. And you know, such a beautiful location. The sun. And he's like, oh, yeah, I heard that you had a little bit of a woohoo with the founder. You go, girl. I mean, not the founder, the second gen. She's like, oh, yeah, you know I did. You know I did. He'd be so jealous because he's like, wow, she got a whole cottage as a butler and I just get my room. It was wild. That kind of stuff usually happens near the capital, but I do live in New York. Oh, I miss New York so much. I miss New York and I miss... Whoa, promoted to hacker? Casper got promoted? Wow. He can now hack the mainframe. I forget how like um oh 
how high he got a, he has gotten in his career. Like he's level seven, and we haven't really focused on it that much. Like that's pretty pretty impressive. And now he has law to come home to. That's nice. Your parents just let me cry until I fell back asleep. Whoa. That's like serious tough love. My parents were the opposite of tough love. I think my parents were like, I did ne I never got tough love. Can you tell? <laughs> yeah, that's crazy, Panda. I don't know. I would. I don't know. I just don't know. Oh, you've still got a temperature? Or are you just thinking about that? Okay. Well, she wants to be a super parent. Discipline your child. Hmm. So it was his hacker co-workers that started singing with him. That's funny. Yeah, all of these uh, uh, geeky workplace people. I wonder what they sing. Five hundred seventy. Wait, what is that? Five hundred seventy-five thousand six hundred minutes. Five thousand five hundred. Coding characters. <laughs> Seasons of hacking. 